All right, Gemini, Ace of Wands. Wands are fire, wands are motion, and aces is what I like to call the God cards. So it looks like you're back on your path. Looks like you've been making some decisions that really will benefit your future, will benefit you. You've changed some behaviors um, and you're standing in your power a little bit more, Gemini. Standing in your power, releasing some behaviors that really haven't worked for you. But it looks like you have been propelled forward. Um, this could be work. This could be interpersonal. This could be love. Um, I know that relationships and love are in the air right now, but I don't see any lover's cards or um, anything that dictates specifically love stuff for you. But it does look like that you've been healing your heart, you've been healing yourself, and um, figuring out where you want to be and really living a much more exalted life, speaking your truth. And, and it looks like you have pushed out some traumas or from your past that were standing in the way of really embracing your future happiness. So that is a very good card. And it's right next to the Ace of Cups in the past. So it looks like you've been doing a lot of work and that you're just coming out of some heavy stuff. Um, what crosses you is the three, the three of wands. This is also a wand. This is motion. This could be travel. This is looking into the future, um, releasing some things that um, don't serve you anymore. Uh, maybe some behaviors that were created by uh, childhood trauma. And you've decided to release some of that, release some of that. The memories of it and the wisdom of it will always be with you. And But you no longer make decisions based on a childhood trauma or a fear. So it looks like moving towards in, integrity and balance in your future, um, keeping the things that work for you uh, and the situations that serve you. Um, but also feels like you may be looking to either move in, um, uh, in a reasonable distance. It doesn't look close, but um, it's something for the future, making your life a little easier, uh, matches up to how you want to lead your life versus how you have to lead your life for work. So incorporating some of the fun stuff into your world as well and looking towards the future, what works for you uh, presently and helps you propel towards a more positive future versus the fears and the traumas that have kind of held you stagnant in some motion. But it looks like you've really processed a lot of stuff and it's been it's been years working on this and finally you're seeing some headway, you're seeing some happiness, some motion, um, and some growth for yourself. Uh, putting down the anger and moving forward, leaving the things behind that do not serve you anymore, but looking towards the future, towards, and it does look like travel is in there and possibly moving to um, a different part of the country, a different place, and trying something new. What is above you is the five. This looks like a little static, looks like something that you are having communication problems with. Um, I'm feeling it's work related or um, people at work that um, you're just not speaking the same language. It feels like um, a little bit of battle of opinion is what I'm feeling, but it does look like you may have won the battle but the war is still on kind of thing. So put down some of those swords if you can. Um, and it looks like a compromise is close. A compromise is very close, but it feels like it has to do with work, either finding work or resolving an issue at work that has been kind of like a button, a buzz button for a while, but it is above you. So it's something that you are processing already um, that has not completed yet but speak with integrity, speak with your truth, um, but also listen. Part of communicating and compromise is listening to the other side. Um, but it looks like you're kind of at a standstill right now. So collect your thoughts, uh, see what you are willing to compromise about. And I do feel that motion will be in the future very shortly. Ace of Cups, it's in the past position. Um, learning really what your emotions are about and either 
releasing the emotions that no longer serve you, that are connected with past life, past time trauma um, or situations that didn't work out. Kind of like um, the water is flowing more give and take. Um, you're not holding your emotions so tightly, you know, holding your card so close to your chest. It looks like you're open and willing to receive love and to possibly start a new love relationship is what I'm feeling. Either a love relationship um, or just opening up to your current partner and allowing the ebb and flow, not holding things so close to your chest and that you are willing to um, give and receive love in a very different way than you have in the past, very different way. Um, and really getting in touch with your emotions, aces or God cards, and really giving it, giving it up to God and allowing yourself to feel all the things that you haven't allowed yourself to feel for whatever reasons, whether it was duty to family, children, uh, whether it was pain from the past, but you have opened up and you have a little bit more heart song, it looks like Gemini, and willing to try things that are new for you. So if you get the choice of trying uh, the same old thing or something new, I encourage you, Gemini, to step into that light of trying something new and take the new road, take the new road. So King of Swords, this could be you. This is air. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This can um, be you standing in your te integrity. You have taken a step up in your awareness, opened your heart a little bit, speaking your truth with a little less biting edge is what I'm feeling here with this sword. Um, coming out of your head a little bit, moving towards action, manifestation on the physical plane. It also can stand for uh, the person you are in conflict with and because um, it's right on that line. But the Ace of Wands is right in the middle of it. So I do believe that resolution is just right around the corner. Uh, speak with integrity, um, even if they're not. Um, lower the anger and really hear each other and um, take the high road. But there's some resolution coming to you, Gemini. It may be work, uh, resolve, um, but, but with you taking a step into your power, into your kindness, into your vulnerability a little bit, allowing yourself to be a little vulnerable in this world has um, really opened your heart and others see you in a different light, uh, a little bit more compassionate, less rigid, so you are learning to go with the flow a little bit more, dear Gemini. And that is a lovely, lovely thing to do. But taking the high road, you have taken the high road. The Knight of Pentacles here, that's that's also, that's motion, that's fire. Um, Aries, Leo, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, it's motion and it is Earth, Capricorn. Uh, Taurus and Virgo. So this could stand for a younger person. I'm feeling this is a younger person that you're connected with that is um, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They may need you to step in and help them out a little bit um, with a little advice. Um, not necessarily you solving issues, but it looks like you have some wisdom for someone in that position. Now this knight can be either female or male because there is no mid female card in the tarot. So this could be a female or a male, but it looks like somebody needs your guidance, your wisdom, um, not necessarily you stepping in and doing things for them, but just guiding them. Con it's, it's a continuation. It could be a child. It could be a child. It could be a very dear friend. Um, but it's someone that's in the heart position, in, in the heart space for you. And um, they want the best for you. So there's it looks like a give and take on a communication, but um, they don't really know how to ask for help. They need a little bit of help, a little bit of clarity so they can steer their ship in their own direction. They have been looking away from something that, um, that kind of guided them in the past. So I, I believe they need some new direction from you. And this most likely is someone under 30. Um, if it is someone over 30, it's someone that has more, um, I would say, um, 
not as not as wise as you, not as wise as you, and maybe making um, some mistakes um, that just don't have the wisdom or the fortitude yet, but they're getting there. They're getting there. So now the basis of all this is the four. So really come, bringing in your dreams, bringing in your manifestations. It looks like it is out in the distance here that um, you're trying to incorporate some dreams and desires that you've had a vision for a very long time, taking the steps towards that vision to um, make it true and to manifest it into your awareness, into your um, earth space into your earth suit. It does look like it's a little bit disruptive to your dreams. Not sure if you're sleeping too much or not at all, but um, it looks like you have been able to take the first step in this, but just uh, kind of gathering your thoughts on how to make the next step and how to bring it from the um, bring it from the the headspace and to the creation space into the manifestation into the physical world. But um, you're figuring it out. You're figuring it out. And it does look like you need to take some time. Um, normally, the two represents balance, um, which I believe that is what's happening. You're finding your balance a little bit more within yourself. You've taken the time to go into yourself, really take a look at what you want. Now pull off that blindfold and take a look at what else life is showing you. Uh, the defense here the two kind of almost being defensive but you are switching that you are switching that overprotective space of yourself and allowing yourself to be a little bit more vulnerable in the world um, it makes you more approachable and it um, allows the give and take of communication um, a little bit easier so pull off that blindfold a little bit let people in a little bit um, you don't always have to be waiting for, you know, the attack. Um, also looks like you're putting down the swords of um, some of the sharp words that you have, learning how to present with a little bit more compassion. Um, and, and that also will help you to clarify your next step. Clarify your next step and where you're going. So that is happening. Here is the chariot that also can be a travel. You have two that can be travel. This can be travel in style. It is also finding your balance, um, accepting the duplicitous forms of life, the dichotomy of life, black and white. You know, not everything is in the gray area. Sometimes things are just yes or no up or down. So it's finding the, the balance of the duality and there's no other sign that has more duality in them than Gemini. Um, I know Pisces does a bit um, with the two fish, but really Gemini finding how to balance that duality in your life and um, checking in with your moral compass and feeling if it's right for you and for others, but really accepting things as they are and uh, the duality of life and finding your balance within all that. Uh, these wings here are lighting up for me as well. You are starting to heal yourself with that vulnerability and putting down um, the fears from the past and how that has dictated some of your choices. So you're really giving yourself the freedom to fly into new territories. I know it's scary, um, but most good things come from a scary proposition. So go ahead, allow yourself to fly into unknown territories, visit those places. Um, and also, you know, it, it's that duality thing, the choices thing. So take the new road, take the high road, um, listen to the God of your heart where it's guiding you. And um, you're really, really finding your balance, Gemini. You really, really are. Uh, does look like you're losing a little sleep here. Sleep cards are both on the top and the bottom. So I'm wondering if you're either sleeping too much or not enough. Lots of things in your head, lots and lots and lots of things in your head, which it looks like it's preventing you from getting a really rejuvenative night's sleep. So if you can write some of these things down, get them out of your body, however you choose to do that, whether it's meditation before you go to sleep, 
um, whether it's writing things down, but really releasing your head and that overactive mind from all the lists of things. If you need to physically list them down to get them out of your body um, so you can get some sleep, that's that would be great. Um, but the worries, the fears, kind of the what do I do next, all that lists of lists and lists of things that either need to be done or you want to do are kind of taking up space in your sleeping space, in your rejuvenative space and um, healing yourself. So if you can possibly get this stuff out of your body, either if, if you're more of a physical person, you know, do something physical before you, you go to sleep. Um, uh, if you are a more intellectual uh, Gemini, which I know you guys most likely run on that vein, write it down, get it out of your body. Um, but you're right on the precipice. You're right on the edge of making some big, big decisions. Um, and you know, they will affect your life path, but I see them going in the positive. So keep on moving, keep on trucking, take that step into change. Um, yes, you will be fearful. Um, but starting any new endeavor, doing something new always brings a bit of anxiety. Um, but I think you'll be okay. Just move that anxiety out and do it anyway. The world is above you. This has been coming up for two or three other signs also this month. So, you know, the world, it shifts the way that you put energy into it. And the world is the last card in the deck. It is how everything is open to you. Everything is available. Um, so whatever you put your energy into, it will be rewarded. It's a very... Um, nurturing time. It's a very fruitful time. So take those ideas and put them into action. They may take a little money. There may be money going out right now, more going out than, than is coming in. It feels like that is a little out of balance. It is making you a little fearful, but I see other money opportunities coming towards you. Make sure if you are donating or giving in a charitable event, make sure it is um, deserved, shall we say, <laughs> deserved as well as you feel clean about giving it. If there is any uh, question, anything laying in your heart that doesn't feel good about that, then change that up. But it does look like give unconditionally, you will be rewarded. And there's also something here about money and investments and changing investments, something isn't as fruitful as you thought it would be. Some investment, whether it's emotional, uh, spiritual, physical, or actual money, something wasn't as fruitful as you thought it would be. So it feels like a little research is in line for that. And to refocus, refocus or reallocate some money in a different, maybe a safer way, whether it's moving it from a savings account to some kind of uh, stocks and bonds or something, something of that nature. Um, it's, it's doing saving a little bit differently or allocating your money a little bit differently. It may be looking at your bills, uh, currently seeing what you can live with and what you can li live without, especially if you're saving for travel and a big life change. We do tend to reallocate things um, in our money realm. So I'm going to throw a couple of these past life cards for clarity. These are great. I began using them last month. Oh, forgiveness. Great card and vows. All right. It looks like new promises need to be made and some old promises may be out of date. Don't find yourself um, imprisoned in promises that are no longer valid and no long, long, longer serve you and that are in present time. Uh, and no longer serve you in present times. So you can change any agreements that you have, either spiritual or on the earth plane. If something isn't working for you that you have promised to do, revisit that and communicate that. Work that out where a promise um, can benefit both. But if it feels out of balance, then it is out of balance and it doesn't serve you. Forgiveness. That is a big focus for you this month, dear Gemini. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Um, and when you truly do, excuse me, truly do forgive the past, then you release yourself. 
you absolutely release your 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 spirit to fly into new endeavors. It no longer holds you in that place of of non-motion and of pain. So when you can forgive yourself as well as others, whether they are on the planet or not, it releases you. And that is where you're at. You're really releasing and allowing your heart to love again. If that is um, the challenge, you're allowing others to come into your life and you're allowing yourself to be a little more vulnerable in the world. So these are all wonderful, wonderful things, Gemini, that really do serve you, that you're looking at. Don't forget to put that foot forward. Start the motion of ideas. All it takes is one step into that brilliant idea to make it real and to start the ball rolling.